Hello everyone and welcome to day two of the qualifiers, the Paradise Crew Battles Tournament. All of you are doing well. My name is Sporty FC. Yesterday we got to see the first three rounds. Today we get to see the final two. We got to get our next six teams. Actually five, but I'll explain that a little bit later here. We have an incredible day of matches. Here we go. Two rounds, round four and round five today. Again, yesterday we saw rounds one through three. Hey, a little bit shorter. Yeah, lots more important for a lot of these teams because yesterday we only got to see two teams qualify out. Today we get to see our next six. If we take a look at our <clears throat> brackets, so far again we've had some little matches. I have the wrong bracket. That is the wrong tournament. I knew I had something wrong. Let me fix that bracket for you all. <laughs> not a, the stream is not a stream without having some weird issues. Me forgetting to update the bracket. There you go. That's the correct bracket. This is a top 16 Blue Battles tournament. You just need that. We're just trying to find that top 8 for the final main event next weekend. In our first round, we got to see what about me then take down goal. And then we move to the lower bracket to follow goal as they beat the goalie giggles. And then we moved back up to the high round. And we got to see a pretty solid matchup with the Gooners taking down what about me then in the game 5. Now it's in round four. We're gonna be seeing back to the lower back. We're gonna be seeing the Golden Googles again as they take on the underdogs. And of course, we'll have a round five, a round five match for you as well. So we've got action from around this league. We'll be seeing a team get eliminated. We'll be seeing a team qualify and a team get eliminated. So be a, a good day. Again, as I mentioned, we saw two teams qualify yesterday: Hyax Nova and Gooners. We specifically got to see the Gooners on this stream. Since then, Duke Stevens also qualified over. What about me? Then I think they also played later yesterday as well so that's going to definitely be an interesting part of today but because that match is already concluded but nothing else has we'll be seeing uh, that final round five that round four we'll be seeing it come to its close here and i got a crew battle tournament if you guys don't know how crew battles works it is tournament based on threes twos and ones all odd games are threes in between, teams can choose what games they go. So, in a best of five, like we will be seeing for both our matches today, starting with the 3v3s three in game one, then the loser of that game will choose the game mode for game two, which means the game mode for game four is the other game mode. So, game two is chosen to be 2v2s, game four is a 1v1, so on and so forth. Our match today, or at least our round four matches, Underdogs versus Goalie Giggles. We saw the Goalie Giggles yesterday losing a sweep in round two. They've had a rough go at it, fortunately for them. As a couple teams dropped out, round three for them was a forfeit win. And they have been able to move on. Other than that, man, it's going to be a tough one for them because, they, again, they got to go up against the underdogs. And this team's pretty solid. They'll definitely give them a run for them. But we saw the little giggles yesterday. It was really not impressive. They're not expected to take this series. And if they play like they did yesterday, they're definitely not going to take it. They're going to have to improve. The nice thing is, at a night two rethink things to get themselves back on a track and get themselves into a much more confident position but still the underdogs here led by demonic everyone has not been nice either down here where they lost yesterday to the wolf knights is i'm getting a call apparently he switched my match again a bit keeps doing this okay we have evil bravado and so he keeps switching my match on me we have evil bravado now and A and D. So let me do that. Not the first time that's happened. I've been trying to get me all these good matches here and I I, I don't recognize it. Yeah, let me make sure I get team A and D on this one. So he switched to my match right now. He just recently, so it's actually now Evil Bravado A and D. So there you go. We do actually know A and D. That's Bucky, Itachi, Ducky. But he's all team Evil Bravado, obviously if Team Evo, which is the org that probably has the most recognition here. This is actually an upper bracket match, then. This is an upper round match. Actually, this is for qualifications. Make, let me make sure we get these teams in. So there we go. Everything's been updated. So it's Evil Bravado A and D. Let me do that. Get new lobby info out. Let me make sure I get these people in here. 
uh, for this matchup. So again, apologies on that. I'm, gonna to, I'm also going to make that prediction poll for you all. Then let me... And again, all matches still are best of five, even with this series. Being out. So, let me make sure I get this one. Right. Evo Bravado, A and D. Pretty solid. These are both organizations. A and D is an org I recognize. Evo obviously is an org I recognize. I've seen both these before. Uh, but A and D is pretty small. Evo, though, not that small. They have a. I think this is the only team in this tournament, but they are the org that Leopard, who is running this tournament, is from. So, who's running the SEA team from, a &D, uh, from Evo, make it into this tournament. And only one match. Both are only one match away from qualifying. Very, very solid position here. Round four. Again, let me make sure we get these teams back up here for this series. So we are getting calls here from the players. They are good to go uh, for this matchup. Get a solid matchup to say the very least. Is I gotta get that prediction poll. Let me, we, we make it. Gotta be make that prediction poll for you all. Team Evil Provado, Team Andy, and I think Andy the team. I, I recognize this team a lot because of the Oregon or an Agni. I know she's gonna be playing, uh, in the. I think she's gonna be playing in the Phoenix Cup. Just I think she's had her sights on the Phoenix Cup. Well, that will be fun. We might actually get to see her on the stream in a week from now. But again, this is a best of five. Three battles, obviously, threes, twos, and ones. And these teams wanted to be in that top eight for next weekend. Why not get yourself there? And it's a great play to do it. Through round four, you still have some decent seating. Both these teams look like they're in the lobby, ready to go. So these players in, as I actually just noticed, also misspelled the name. It's Baseball Brian, not Basketball Brian. I don't know why I call it basketball. This is epic, but whatever it is, we'll be in here. Evo Bravado and D, and of course, quickly uh, update my overlay. There we go. A best of five crew battles, obviously, starting in 3v3s, and we've seen this A and D side before. Uh, with Buck and Itachi, that they used to be known as Hydra Boosted Esports. Obviously, the new org. Still, though, feels very similar. Again, these guys have been on the stream a ton in the past, and the end players like CeeLo. Muffin, who we all also have been able, we've also seen recently, yesterday actually playing uh, as well. Very solid team overall from Evil Bravado. Definitely the ones on the upper bracket trying to kind of get their way through. Randy back the other way. Ducky to go for the crossbar, and he will hit it just wide. And we're seeing a lot of back and forth. And you love those heels on offense over and over again. These teams are shooting. Baseball bra and can't put it on. And Evil Bravado will go again with Muffin! And that will find the net, so... A high action start, you love to see that. You might be seeing a lot of this today. From both of these sides, and... I'm all for it. Action. Always, I think, a thing that we need to see more of. Again, Muffin, probably most recognizable for his role on the Slitherwiffs. And also here, representing Team Evo, so... We saw him yesterday on the Slitherwiffs. That team did make it, so we might actually see him later today in that final bracket. A and D. Trying to just break out. Bucky beat by Baseball Brian, but that will head high. And so far for A and D, it does feel like they're just a bit slower to these challenges. I mean, with it being the first series of the day for both these teams, you're just trying to get yourself into it. And already it seems like Team Evo have done just that. CeeLo down for Muffin, and well, there's a bit of calamity in front of the net. It does eventually go in, Evil Bravado won't ask how it has to go in that way, but they won't mind, it's 2-0 up for them. This team A and D, definitely in a troubling situation here. Anger, loser of this, going to round 5, and oftentimes those teams from those lo from lower round 4 often have a huge momentum advantage in that final round, so you really don't want to go there. Uh, no matter what you, you know, no matter who you play, you... Really want to take this series just to prevent yourself from that position. Oh, but Evo is in a good position. A and D are not. And 
That's another one to go in, but this time, Team Evo didn't really cause this. It was Itachi who just kind of panicked on that one, went a bit too early. And it's a 3-0 lead for Team Evo. The only Team Evo side in this tournament, but a lot of people expecting this team to make it out of this bracket. As a and D trying to keep it away. Itachi, the back wall. Still Itachi, but will be Team Evo again on the beat there. And again, they're just a little bit faster right now. And they're just controlling the pressure. CeeLo now with his first of the game, but you knew for Team Evo with how much offense they're bringing, eventually it will just all pile on through. And Team a and D just does not seem ready. 2-1 leads for both of these, sorry, 2-1 series uh, for both of these t uh, teams and the fact that, again, they both won twice, they both lost once, but pressure is really on Team A&D. This is not the start they want to have. Alright, Majay, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the free stream here for the Paradise Crew Battles Tournament. This is round four. A higher, high round four, actually. Uh, wherever, whoever wins this will qualify to the main event for the Swiss stage. Right now, Team Evo on route to doing so. Another one. We're not even halfway through. And it's five goals for Team Evo. Team a and is just not able to keep up. Team Evo Bravado, just a... If it's a rank difference, just a playstyle difference, whatever it is, this is horrible for Team a and Mainly get worse here because Team Evo continues to win these 50-50s. Baseball Brian wants to make it six, but will go wider than that, and... He'll leave it for his teammate in Silo. Last one, but Ducky to stop him and he may indeed trying to give this one out. Ryan can't reach it. Hachi's touch too heavy and Huffman will have an easy clear away here with that dribble. But he does get stuffed here. Baseball Brian jumping. Oh, he almost lost to that Jones to Bucky. He will be there in time and eventually Team Eva will clear this ball again. Ducky bumps out. Baseball Brian going for goal, but it will head high. Muffin follow up. Saved away by Bucky on the ground, and Team A&D just trying to stop this game and just let it end. And it is about as tough as a start as it can be for any team. It may only get tougher, though. A&D, though, in for your pass, and that will connect. Bucky takes it. Team A&D's first of the series. Just a great, well-placed infield pass from Itachi. Goes behind baseball, Brian. Yeah, you are right. These guys also known as the Zenith Aces. As well from Bucky and Itachi. They were, I think, moved to uh, Hydra Boosted Esports. Now, obviously, on Team Evo. So, sorry, on Team A&D, not Team Evo. A&D is all over the place, these guys. But they have been on the stream a ton in the past. and Their history on the stream, though, has not been pretty. I will say that. They have not been able to win so often. The stream it might be a, cur a bad curse for them uh, when it comes to matchups, but the nice thing is, because it's good battles, it generally means that the series will be a little longer than usual. Definitely be an interesting statistic to look at, but well, this game won a little bit longer than usual. That Team Evo just looking to score as many goals as they can, and well, five, I think, is a pretty solid mark. They're still not done yet, though. They want more goals, and it was a bit of greed, but it's a lot of it has to be with the statement to really shut down A and D. This momentum is a lot is a lot of what a crew battle is formed on. Some of these games give momentum to future game modes and to future matchups. And you really need to utilize that to get every advantage possible. And well, I would be lying if I said I didn't think Evil Bravado had that momentum. Six to one. And that is that is an ugly, ugly game one for Team A&D. And it's only, it's only the start of day two here for the qualifiers, and my goodness, this is, this is a rough start here. No matter which way you look at it, Bucky, gonna find the clear here in field. Bucky waiting, but Itachi's actually gonna be the one to receive it. But in that first touch from Itachi, just too heavy. Not the first time he's had that issue today, and he's gotta be careful here. Now Bucky going for it. That touch is great, but. Even better stop on the back wall by Baseball Brian. CeeLo to net. And what a touch that is! A powerful strike and CeeLo will send Team Evil Bravado off to Rio de Janeiro. 16 seconds left, but at this point, it's all for the confidence. CeeLo puts it in a 7th for his team. 
And Team A and D stunned here in game one. Not the start they were hoping for. They knew that they were coming in as the underdogs, but it's badly. Oh boy, they're going to have a tough time now because they got to choose what game mode they want for game two. And more often than not, we see teams go for 2v2s, but definitely what they want here. We'll see what they trust because overall, it seems like individually they don't have the advantage over Team Evo. Having a 3v3 is end off as poorly. They need to have this game to be a real confidence booster or else I don't see them t doing much of anything in winning this series. So we'll wait on their call here for game number two. The game mode choice is theirs. They're all calling for 1v1s, so they are not calling twos here. Going for the 1v1 game mode. I can't find that to be all too surprising. In some senses, but... We'll see uh, how they react to this. How they play, because... Again, individually, they did not look solid either. There's a lot of questions, I think, on... <clears throat> on Team A&D, if they can even keep up with Team Evo right now, because... Again, there's a... This tough matchup for either of these sides, right? Not really a tough matchup for Evo, though, at least in Game 1, but... A&D specifically, yes, it has been. And they are calling the 1v1s, though. We'll see how they work with that. Again, just... To keep things... Going here, you can see a... Uh, whole minute... Being utilized here, and again, making that call for 1v1, so... They'll be going for it here. 1v1 matchup between CeeLo and Bucky. So, the captain of A&D versus actually who is, the, the, who is currently considered the captain of EVO tonight. So, it's the captains versus each other. And what a 1v1 matchup this is going to be. I think it will be quite interesting for Bucky. There's a lot resting on him in this matchup because if he doesn't win here, I don't know how A&D is going to be able to win. Two 3v3 matchups and a 2v2. Going to be off to a good start here, but that's not it. CeeLo, oh, what a save. Bucky. Jumping in the way, nearly gave himself up. Now CeeLo again, the 50. That goes wide. He's used a lot of boost on that chance. And well, that's a net. Bucky, well, oh, it only a boost. Hoping CeeLo can play close. He will. Flick. That just goes high. CeeLo was not ready for it. Won't need to be with that shot off target. Here he goes again. Wide of the net. CeeLo popping it. Bucky, awkward. Oh, but CeeLo made it even worse for himself. Heading for that crossbar. He had a net in front of him. Just not hitting it right now. You can tell, I think, Silo seems to be a bit nervous right now in this 1v1. He really shouldn't be. A great position for his team. And really, even if they lose here, they're not in a terrible position either. Maybe once that flip reset, maybe that's why. He's playing a little bit more nervously. A lot of solo plays from Silo, not really what you often see in a 1v1. He'll take it, though, as now a demo. He'll favor Bucky as he'll be first to it. Now he goes. Bucky, oh, he's got a great dribble! Oh, he's got the glue on his hood! Bucky, what a start! CeeLo gave him far too much space, and Bucky will say thank you very much. That's goal one. Only the start to this 1v1 here, but Bucky, proving that his call may have been the right one. Diva Bravado, again, I brought their best in CeeLo. And now he'll go for a flick. Bucky will stop that too. And on low boost, he really can't rely on these solo plays to beat Bucky. It's just such a risky play to really go for here. You can see, he's going a lot for these corners, and I don't like that positioning. He leaves his angle very tough, and yeah, he's giving the ball away again. And a seal is going for these solo plays, and he's not really connecting on any of them. All Bucky has to do is just wait, because Silo is just inevitably going to give the ball to him. I'm so surprised that we're seeing a player so heavily reliant on the 1v1s who doesn't really have those 1v1 mechanics in the solo plays, and... I want to see CeeLo keep it grounded. Just, it seems to be far more consistent and far less over-aggressive when he plays it on the ground. Because right now, he's practically just giving these goals to Bucky. Bucky will take every goal he can get. Reason why you don't see even the high-level players go for too many solo plays. It's just that risky of a game plan. CeeLo. Oh, he's got that boost. I don't know if Bucky recognizes that, but now he will at that touch. Up to the ceiling. Bucky has the follow-up too, and CeeLo will have to wait back. Although Bucky's going to be close on, he will 100% challenge this. Oh, and CeeLo's just completely backflipped on it. Should be an open one for Bucky. This one rolling to the goal, and Bucky will take it. A backflip from CeeLo at all. Very unfortunate time. 
He saw he wanted to do, I think, a half flip challenge there, and he completely misjudged it. And so far, Bucky's just waiting. He's just playing the patient game. He is recognizing that CeeLo himself is just nervous in this game. CeeLo, at least. Very surprising. But, again, maybe one Wounds isn't his specialty, or maybe he's just not ready for it today. The question you really have to wonder is, was is he usually the player that plays one Wounds for them when they need it? Or is he... Or are they throwing him out so that they can prepare for the 2v2s later on? So many teams just kind of give up on the 1v1s or give up on the 2v2s. Usually one game a series, so you can be confident in everything else. You don't need to win. Feel that strong in that game mode. Bucky right now proving that he is just far more experienced than 1v1s here. Cielo is making a lot of very simple mistakes here. Such as that, going for the boost into the corner. Very easy outplay for Bucky. And yeah, the 1v1. Not a not a good decision here for uh for Diva Vibrato to try to throw himself. I wonder if apparently did chat baseball Brian saying Celo's the one who called it, so I don't know if maybe I mean, he is the he is the captain for today, but I don't know if he's gonna be happy with that decision. He is not playing well. In a 1v1 again, he just doesn't seem experienced here in 1v1s and We're getting this again, I'm getting that sense pretty easily here, but it's just by the fact that he's making a lot of decisions that Generally speaking, you don't make in ones. Again, I wonder if maybe that's more of Evil Bravado just wanting to get the best 2v2 bars that they can, rather than worrying about trying to play the 1v1s. Because essentially, if, if Indy can pick the 1v1 game mode, that's the game mode they're more confident in. And in theory, that'd be the game mode that uh, 2s would be the game mode they're weaker in. For Evo, taking advantage of that would probably be a pretty smart decision. As this 1v1 will actually continue onward. It's a goal back here from CeeLo, but... We'll, we'll see if maybe he can get more like that, but... Again, I'm, I'm, I do worry for his overall consistency, but this is a good release for him as well. That flick. Oh, that's very simple from CeeLo. He does not overcomplicate that one at all. A simple front flip flick. It doesn't get any more basic than that, but... Sometimes basic is all you need, and oftentimes it is. Especially in a 1v1 game mode where... When you overcomplicate things, you usually leave yourself in worse, in worse situations. Oh, there's a Celo now in the backflip. Bucky will get to it, but Celo with the challenge. Bucky, no boost to work with. He will get back here, but not in time. And Celo is looking to take this one here. He's making the comeback possible. Well, I had complained about his, uh, his lack of experience. He's trying to take some very smart challenges here, and that's what's allowing him to get back. Not over just yet. Tilo again. Hot Bucky has the boost to work with here, and it's gonna make life very difficult for Tilo, especially with him laying this high up. Will mean Bucky has space, but not a great angle on this one. He'll go to the midfield, but he's just giving it away. Tilo needed to score that one. That's about as open as it gets. Bucky with an absolute gift there. And CeeLo did not take it. We'll go again. Another solo play again from a very awkward angle. I don't like that CeeLo's going for this again. He just leaves himself in worse positions with it. But he does bump Bucky out. And Bucky's not going to get the ball either from this, so... CeeLo again. This is a much better angle for a solo play. Already he's calling for it. Air dribble. What does he have in store? The 50! Bucky! Oh, great save! And... CeeLo did not recover in time. Goes back again, but Bucky on the ball. Not a lot of boost to work with, but he doesn't need it in this position. CeeLo. Time to just take the shot here, I think. and He will be, but Bucky again ready. And this time, he will take the net. It's two. To, it's six to three. Too late for Team Evo Bravado to come back in the 1v1 now. And Bucky, yeah, making the right call here on the 1v1s. Able to shut down that potential comeback from CeeLo. We'll be going to back to the 3v3s for game 3 to determine who will take match points. As I said, most of these a lot of these games often have the unintended consequence of being confidence boosters. I have to think this has got to be a confidence booster for Bucky. I mean, with how badly the 3v3 went, this is practically going to make him forget all about it. Just in a good position overall here.
this one one will end out here. Team A and D with their first win of the series. And that means we're going to game number three here. Back to 3v3 action. Again, it seemed like Team Evo had a lot better control, had a lot more momentum in game one. Now after game two, is that going to change? I, I have to think it will be. Andy is just looking a lot better. I mean, that 1v1 is definitely going to help Bucky out specifically. As we get back into what we are going to see a lot of 3v3s, it's going to be Team Evo Bravado who look to take match point. And they won dominantly in that last 3v3 uh, game mode. Do it all over again, and they put Andy in a very terrible position, and well, they're already off to a good start there with that play. See the shot will be kept wide. Again, with the fact that that 2v2 seems like that, that that's what they were preparing for, as well in Team Evil Bravado. Should be in a relatively solid position as Obeer. That's a huge whiff from the midfield. Team Evil Bravado will take it as a long touch from Silo and Hutch and Ducky must have called each other off for it because that one, they, they covered it as well. Evil Bravado up by one already. Most of these teams are generally made for 3v3s. You wonder if maybe the same for Team Evo, but... Gotta keep playing the defense here as Baseball Brian. Off the sidewall, here he goes again. Three sets. Now against Bucky. Has us flicked to the corner. Baseball Brian. Oh, he's just keeping the ball close to himself. Now a tap down, but he probably should have left that one. Muffin was already up for it. That leaves CeeLo. All the way on defense. Doesn't get that touch past Ducky, but he won't need to as Ducky couldn't find the shots. And well, Andy, do continue this offense. Mivo Bravado putting in some early challenges to keep them away from shooting range. Keep them away from scoring early, what we saw them do in game one. You know, preventing that scoring. Early challenges are going to be a huge factor for Team Evil Bravado here in this 3v3. Really suffocating Team A and D out of the offense. They've done so good at it. Zelo, high, but Muffin to make it two. That one's awkward. And it's found the top right corner. Team Evil Bravado will double their lead to two. And will be in a very good position. Will once again dominate the 3v3 aspect of this series. Team Andy left in a very weird position because they have to win at least one 3v3 and they really don't want to have to win it in game five. And again, with the 2v2s being that weak point for them as well, this is about as Rough for the position as it can be for A and D because they're just not keeping it close in the 3v3 game mode. And they need to win at least one of these. There's three 3v3 games in this best of five. They don't win any of them. They can't win the series itself. And they'll be sent to round five where uh, they, might, uh, they may be losing to whoever comes from that lower side of the round four. Let's look at this from Evo just putting the pressure on. Another one here in front for CeeLo. Three goals for Team Evo Bravado as they'll once again help themselves in the lead. This one again, game three. It could be a huge game for them. I was going to say it might be a huge game for AD, but obviously it doesn't seem like they're able to really get control. Still, that comeback could be possible, but half the game still to go. They've got a, not a lot of time to work with here in this one. One goal could definitely turn things around for this team. Just need to find it. Long touch, Itachi. The corner. Muffin will be waiting for it, but he won't need to make a touch there as Bucky. Too heavy of a first touch, and it will go straight to CeeLo. Again, the solo play is something that CeeLo's tried to utilize a lot in that 1v1, but to no real effect. We use it again the 3v3s, but again still not finding controls. A and D now look for that infield pass. That one will go a little offline. And Team Evil Bravado. Keep this ball away again. Baseball Brian. 
Muffin. Oh, that one taken away by Bucky and CeeLo. All the way back into the net. Bucky's got a chance to take this one, but it does go just wide. And A&D will still look again. Ducky, high. Missed there from Muffin. Still Bucky with a backward pass. Ducky to take it. Baseball Brian is there. And CeeLo will see this one out. Back the other way. Bucky. Only as far as CeeLo. Another great chance for Solo Blade. He's got the dribble too. CeeLo falling to the ground. And Evil Bravado will see no chance. They will get another one. And Muffin will eventually find the net himself. And that's, that's going to be, a, again, a positive momentum booster here. Team Evil Bravado in a perfect position. Now all they have to do is hold it. A little over a minute to go. Just need another strike to find that back of the net. Baseball Brian off the sidewall. No second touch. This one left as Ducky will clear. Muffin. Heading back, Ducky doesn't get the touch, and again, Evo, it's time to clear, but it's gone straight to Bucky, and he should be able to score this one, he will. And you can always see Muffin there, not very happy with himself on that horrible clear. Just send it straight to Bucky, and it gave him a free 2v1, and A&D will take advantage. With only 53 seconds left, there's practically no time at all to get free goals. See, for Team A&D, it feels like this game is one where they are really in a position where if they don't win this, they just leave themselves at the mercy of Team Evil Bravado's playstyle. And I, I don't really want to do that. Evil Bravado has looked pretty solid so far this series. They will get one more with Ducky. So 38 seconds to go. And again, just a, another terrible passing of play here. This while Brian was looking for CeeLo there. And he has to put a little more power on it. CeeLo going all the way back. And again, it's gifted goals here from Evil Bravado. 38 seconds left now. And it's looking a lot more likely. For team A and D to come back in this one. Oh, but a fake kickoff. Iwavato will take it, but Bucky will get that demo. Well, actually, Atachi will himself. A and D will this ball out, but Evo back the other way. Up goes Bucky. Reset. Will utilize it, but Puffin is waiting. And team A and D will take their time on this one. Muffin again. Bucky has to stay close to it. And at this point for Andy, they got to get down the field. But CeeLo hitting in the midfield and a team bump. That will end the chances here for Andy in Game 3. This series is now back in favor of Team Evo Bravado. Only one game away. And that will be a good position for them. Again, another solid performance. And now we got the 2v2 game mode. So this is going to make things a little interesting, I think, for both these sides. Because, again, that's the game mode that A&D did not want to play in. Now they have to win it. Leaving themselves quite vulnerable to the fact that I think Team of Abrado were preparing for this 2v2. Muffin and Baseball Brian taking on Itachi and Ducky. A&D may have that 2v2 roster set, but... We'll see how they feel about it. Indeed, this is now a must-win territory. It's Amy Bravado again who wanted this game mode. And we'll see it though. If they make it count, they can end the series here. Go to go to that main event next weekend where for this game win. Feels so close to Evil Bravado. Nice thing is, even if they do lose this, they still have a 3 game mode and they have not at all looked bad in the 3 They've looked like a far better team. But they don't want to take that chance. Baseball Brian with an early strike as Andy Ducky caught on that challenge. And look at this from Muffin. Doesn't go for the ball, goes straight for the bump. He doesn't really get anything close to it, but he puts the pressure on. This one, a best of five. Now in game four, continuing here. Eva Bravado up by one. Look, they make it two. Muffin just wide of the net. He actually had that angle. 
and he just weren't expecting from him. Wasn't able to put it on. Now Baseball Brian by himself will a good first touch, but not a lot of boost to work with. And well, in fact, we start trying to keep even Andy back. He really doesn't work though. They recognize pretty quickly that he doesn't have the boost, but Muffin does, and he's got the fake. Oh, Muffin, that's disgusting. Taking the axles of TMA and D, and Muffin. Oh my, that's a beautiful fake under the last defender. Should be a very good position. You just have to watch and marvel if your team AND. Team Evil Bravado, yeah, they prepared for this game mode at all. That wouldn't be one of those, was that throwaway game for them? Throwing in a CeeLo. They're a lot more prepared for this one, but even then, only two goals up. Three and a half minutes to go. Ducky now, 1v1, has the flick, but Baseball Brian will save, and Itachi won't get the challenge either. Baseball Brian, from, by, from behind by Itachi and Team AND. They're trying to pave their own destiny, trying to create those chances. And so often, too, is it really relies on 50-50s. If you can beat past one defender, you make it a 2v1, you put yourself in a perfect position. So most of the goals in, two, in 2v2s that I recognize are from 2v1 positions. Maybe this will be one of them here. Again, a 2v1. That's time for A&D. Ducky, though. Now you only need himself. He does. A little flick. The pop. And it's team and d back in it. And it is Ducky. This time doesn't wait for Baseball Brian to make his challenge. This time just goes straight for it. A nice little tap in from A&D. Two and a, two and a half minutes. Actually, a little over two and a half minutes. to go in this game. And for Team Evil Bravado, well, this might be the better game mode for them. It is still not consistently uh, one-sided. But they will get one off the kickoff from Muffin. As Ducky left with literally no boosty. There's not much he can really stop here. He'll jump for it, but he knows he can't make it. Team Evil Bravado. Now, again, two goals up. Muffin. The back wall, double tap given here, but he won't need it. Baseball Brian, saved by Itachi. Oh, he's falling off the ceiling. And he gets there in time. Now Ducky, up ahead, 50 with Muffin. And Evil Bravado back the other way. Muffin again, no double tap again here. Baseball Brian, another shooting chance, but this time goes wide. May have actually been able just to go for net there, but didn't want to give the ball away to Team A and D. I think for maybe good reason. I want to see them have possession here, and especially in a game that is this close. There's a demo from Baseball Brian. That's left in the midfield. Ducky on top of it, but often is there too. Ducky again has the dribble going for net! Ducky! Oh, he has it! Nearly hitting the ceiling too. Ducky soars high. And it's Team ND back in it again. Off the kickoff. ND, the confidence here again for them, but can they make it work? Ducky again. A great solo effort at both the goals so far in this game. Now his team just needs one more. This might be it across the goal, but Muffin will get enough of it to keep it away from Itachi. Speaking of Itachi, whiffing on the ball here. Baseball Brian doesn't challenge. Team Evil Bravado nervous. And with a minute to go, they've got to make another stop. Baseball Brian has it. And he'll be first two, but not before Ducky gets the challenge and even a chance to shoot. Muffin again on no booster. He's not been able to pick up those boost pads. That's going to leave his team and uh, a worse for, for wear position as A and D pushing everything they have up field, but now they gotta go back. Itachi, just enough to get there. He'll head to the corner again. Team A and D, coming up from the backfield. A challenge from Baseball Brian. They proves to end it. He's got the flick off the bar, and he will get the final tap. Call it luck, call it fortune. Baseball Brian calls it insurance, and Team Evil Bravado again are always two steps ahead. The 2v2 going down to its wire. 
He Mandy. Gotta find space for themselves. Muffin. Flex it. Itachi will not be there in time. Five to two now. Muffin is taking over. And even that dribble goal from Ducky couldn't get A&D back in it. Himi Bravado prepared for the 2v2. And now they're taking over. This is the upper portion for round four. And this, this is Team Himi Bravado. Who are the better team. Who will, who will be playing in that top eight in that final bracket next weekend. Team A&D. They're not out of it just yet. They've got round five. But the pressure is on them to win next round. But no matter who they face. But for Team Bravado, their qualifier run is done. They're out of the qualifiers. They progress to the main event. And it comes here in this 2v2 game mode. Team A&D will have to search again for next round. It's for Team Evil Bravado. That's it for today for them in this tournament. They will keep themselves going. Huge performance and a gutsy call from Team Evo in that 1v1 as well. A reminder, that 1v1, almost, it, it really did feel like they called the 1v1 uh, just to have their, you know, to, just to prepare for the 2v2s there. It felt like they didn't want to play in that 1v1 in it. That's a really smart call from them. So many teams want to play their best player for ones, but oftentimes your best player for ones is also your best player in your 2v2 game mode. So, Evo obviously, really taking that and, oh, well, they'll be Taking that series as well. 3-1 win for Team Evo. Again, they're going to that main event, so... That's actually our sort of... Our series to end today out of these round 4 matches that didn't play yesterday. The Academy Wolf Knight's still going on as well. Here's on Rusty's stream. I don't know how... Uh oh no, no, no. You don't need to hear an ad. <laughs> I don't want that. Again, we'll we'll see how things are going here for him. That match actually may have just ended as well. Yes, so we have to call Wolf Knights. Have a 3-1 win, so... They have also qualified through the upper portion. And that we're left with these lower bracket matchups. Leopard... I know Leopard and Seth Palm are the ones on them. Leopard's match, actually, I think in game... Four right now, Seth Palm. In game number three. Again, that's for elimination. Velocity Gaming playing Golden Light Gamers. Game Golden Light Gamers up 2-0 in the series and looking to take game three and win it outright. And the underdogs goalie giggles on Lapid stream. Looks like it's a 2-1 lead. Uh for I think it's actually two-one lead for the goalie giggles, so to try to take their run here, but the underdogs are looking to force game five as well, so it'll be quite a fun little portion there. I get apologies on that ad, I didn't mean to do that. Got to turn off my uh, desktop audio, so you wouldn't hear that, but I don't think it's going to be a too big of an issue. We'll go to intermission when we come back, though. We'll have round five, our final round, and this round is now the final chance for teams to qualify, or else they are eliminated. So we'll go to a break. When we come back, round five will be determined.
Hello everyone and welcome back to the sportiest stream. We've got one more round of action here in the Paradise Crew Battles Qualifiers. This is day two and this is the final round of action. Three more spots need to be filled. We've got three more matches. So here we go. We're going to take one of those matches here in round number five. And what a match this will be here as well. It'll be good to see. Now this will go. We've got once again we've got on the stream Team A&D, but this time they're taking on the underdogs here, who just came off of a reverse sweep in lower round four to take it. The run they they had there to take down the goalie giggles. So if we take a look at that bracket and what it looked like again, we were waiting on that result. All the other results ended up pretty quickly. Wolf Knights obviously winning. Wolf Knight Gamers also, right as soon as we went to break, had swept Velocity Gaming, so their result was published. I found a match on that one. What about me then? Golden Light Gamers, Sunset Academy, Goal, and Team AND Underdog. So we've got that last matchup, which is expected to be the closest one. Uh, the closest match out of all of them. Here with Team AND. Taking on again Underdog, so. Should be a very exciting best of five here in this crew battles format. What a series this should uh, end up being for both of these sides. Again, we're looking to make sure we get that info out for the, both of these uh, teams here. And what a match this has got to be. Good best of five series. Can never never go unanswered here uh, for everybody else. Let's get ourselves into this one here. Team Andy, underdogs. Best of five. We'll be... Hopefully by the end of just a few minutes, prediction poll is live, so get your votes in on who you think will take this one. You can see again Andy come off of it. A few on loss, they've had a little bit of time to lock things up, but I think it's a Thunderdogs team that is coming off of a huge momentum, momentous win in that reverse sweep. Again, it's going to be a pretty important matchup here for, especially this AMD side, really having, especially game one in AMD, because for them, they are the ones that need to you know, bring this back. And right now we're just waiting on when we'll uh, get both these teams in, because then we can get things up and running. And we'll wait on an update for them on in the lobby, but as soon as both these teams are here, we'll be ready to get this started. Of course, again, we, we know these rosters. We've seen AD already. Bucky, Itachi, and Ducky. Underdogs, today it looks like they're playing with Demonic, HD Grape, and AO Ashes, so. will be probably their, most likely that'll be their roster for today. For this one, again, with it being a best of five, this should be a pretty close series, both these teams. That chance to make it in, but now with it being the last stage of Swiss. You win and you go in, you lose, and your tournament run is over. Pressure is on these teams to play at their best, because at this point now, what they're playing for is on the line here for the last time. Again, we'll, we'll get these players in as soon as we can. As soon as we get, the, as soon as we get them both in here. Ready for that, go ahead. We'll be... I think underway in just a moment or two. And we're still waiting on a uh, demonic and company and uh, of the underdogs to run in, but they should be here any moment. Again, we'll just give them like another second or two. Again, they are having they did just come off of a really in a really close game five wins, so I'm sure they just want to take a little bit of time to kind of reset that mentality. I wouldn't be that surprised at all uh, with that, so. And we're just going to a little bit, but I think they are here. No, they're not. That is still Andy. Andy is waiting on uh, Underdog, so. Again, we'll make sure that they're in any moment here. Yeah, 
we're getting the call. He just needs another minute or two, so that's fine. We'll wait on him as soon as he is ready. Again, we have a good amount of time here. We are really actually a little early, but I'm going to get this series started any, uh, as soon as, pan as we can for you guys. Yeah, because I know you guys want to see this. It's great uh, action crew battle squad, man. Is the prediction being weird? What do you mean? Oh, it is a little weird. You, <laughs> you have put in zero points and say that you've made your prediction. That's strange. Here, you know what? I'm going to reset the prediction poll. Hey, man, D. Underdogs. Let me... There you go. I've reset the poll for you there, so maybe that will fix it. Is that better? You can put your uh, your points on here. I think we'll win this one. Saving up for that 1v1. I I'm going to regret playing you in a 1v1, Tejega. I hope you know that. Although I will say, we do have another tournament coming today. It's the Champions Cup. We're going to be seeing the end of that later today. Um, just so you guys know, I will not be doing any 1v1s during that. I also probably have my alert turned off during that because it's a pretty decent size tournament. $100 tournament. This is only a qualifiers. The $100, $120 two battles tournament, so you guys can follow and stuff. I'll react to you guys more often here. You never see me play. I do play a little bit, Tejega. I mean, the reason you haven't seen me play, though, is you're like GC3. And I am, I am like champ 2. So I don't think, uh, I don't stand a chance uh, against you, of all people. But I, I am not against playing a 1v1. I don't really care. I don't generally get tilted. So yeah, we're waiting on uh, underdogs here to join on in. That's our final match of the night. As again, we'll be we'll be ready in just a minute or two. All G's on this waiting. And hopefully, these people will be in. Also, just say goodbye. By the way, congrats on making it out of the bracket, going three and zero. Uh, as uh, to nobody's surprise, Nova are beating everybody else. So I would like to see how. I know you guys didn't get to play against them. I'd love to see how you guys play against Gooners, because that is. That's man's our flying team, and good luck on that one. <laughs> good luck on that team. That's a pretty solid opponent, and man's are flying. But uh, again, good luck on that for next weekend. I'm assuming that you two will probably play each other in the finals, but that is my assumption. We'll see. It could be close. There's some other pretty solid teams in here. Like, what about me? Then is still playing in this, and they could definitely be a scary team in that final bracket. Although they haven't made it out yet, they're still playing in round five. They could be eliminated, which be quite embarrassing for those players because they are they were expected to make it through relatively quickly again now though we'll just talk about these two teams team a and d and the underdogs hopefully they'll be here any moment and i apologize on the amount of waiting that we have to do but uh, hopefully that waiting we know it'll be worth it just hopefully it won't be too much longer Wait on both of the rosters here for this best of five. So again, it's still a best of five. We'll take a look at our, our schedule again. It's only two matches for this tournament today. We had three yesterday, but it's two today. We got to see Team Evo Bravado beat A and D three games to one. Obviously, now Team A and D have to fight back after that loss. You're in round five. Let's say three. We like, actually could start a little bit early here. Uh, but these teams are ready, which they are, so. I say that's ourselves going here around five. Just gotta check things out here. Everything's good. Everything is good, so let's get this series going. Last chance for both of these teams to make it to the main event. Here is round five. Team AD taking on the underdogs. One best of five that will determine whether or not you're going to be that main event next weekend or whether or not you're watching from the sidelines. A and D on the blue this time, underdogs on the orange. And again, the underdogs having, having just come off a reverse sweep win over the goalie giggles in lower round four. It's got to be feeling pretty good here in this position, even though they have not had the, not been in the position to be able to take uh, a main event spot till now. Just that win alone should give them the confidence that they can do it. And Demonic already off to a good start. And I mentioned... I remember one thing that Leopard said when he was casting that series was, watch out for Demonic in his in-the-air game. This guy just has some insane aerial mechanics, and I'm sure something that we'll be focusing on is now in field. Demonic again up for this, and and he caught a bit flat-footed right now. And already we're seeing again that aerial-based attack from Demonic. 
That's going to be a huge part of his success. Have to find a lot of it here as Demonic, the dribble, now a flip reset going for goal, but Ducky will be there to save and keep away a lot of that time here as another shot out of the other way. Demonic will block it out, but I think we should expect a relatively close start, but for AD, what they struggled on last series was their freebie freeze. Really got to be prepared for this series that that won't become the same issue for them. Another dog still a solid 3v3 roster. And having to make that reverse sweep over the Golden Eagles meant they had to win two 3v3 games, so. Really can't afford to be in a bad position here in at least 3v3 matchups because if they are early on, the underdogs are not going to let go. They're going to utilize every bit of space they get in those kind of matchups. Right now, though, a bit awkward for both these teams. No one really sure of what to do. And eventually, someone's going to find something, but. No, nothing has fallen through, and Itachi now with that whiff. Demonic will have the air game, and the reset for Demonic has this one. He gets the fake on Ducky. Bucky will be back to pinch it off his back wall, and... Again, we're seeing the scariness that is Demonic, but I haven't really seen much of HD Grape or AO Ashes, and... We need to see them involved as well. They're not going to win this series just on Demonic alone. He may indeed. Again, seems like much more of a team-oriented style. But it was something for the underdogs, at least on offense. For the underdogs, it seems like it's Demonic, who just is, is the offense for them. And as I said, it's not a strong playstyle. That is not one that is a playstyle for success in a series. Without the, you know, help of AO Ashes and HD Grape, I'm very worried for the underdogs if they can get, even get many goal-scoring opportunities. Because if they don't get many, they're not going to beat A and D. An infield touch. HD Grape will clear this one out now. A whiff from Itachi. Ducky. Watching his HD Grape will clear. Bucky off the, off the sidewall. HD Grape can't put it on. And he may indeed still chasing after this one on defense. Eventually they will be there. And no goals. Who our first half of this game. Now for our first three minutes. Until Demonic. This one saved by Bucky. HD Grape. Triple commit from AND. But they will get the block on the goal line. And they'll keep this one away. The underdogs. Dang, probably the closest they have been all game long. And yet, even then, still, it's not enough. Team A&D. Back to the way. Itachi on and in. Team A&D will have goal number one. Demonic jumped early, but Pinch went straight to Itachi. And from that place, he only has to beat HD Grape. And it's Team A&D who, again, came from that upper round with a terrible loss. And we saw in round four. Well, they're taking them time, they've reset, and now emotionally they look a lot more comfortable. Still, they have to prepare for what's to come, because you know Underdogs are going to bring a response. As AO Ashes up his HD Grape, Bucky will get the clear, Demonic. Looking to go back the other way, and we will be Team A&D on the ball again. AO Ashes doesn't reach it. Bucky will see another challenge come from HD Grape, and... Underdogs keeping things close, but not able to get on offense. The team that just feels a bit too one-dimensional, but that's, that's anything but HD Grape takes the ass down and silences the critics. No boost, no problem. HD Grape with the power shot, and Ducky cannot get on the end of it. We're tied up at one. As the underdogs, not going to quit here on offense, but nobody back. Bucky, it's open, and it's a 2-1 lead. Team ND, right back at him. And having both Demonic and AO Ashes pushing up that high, nobody was left back. A risky decision for the underdogs, and they will come to regret it. Now less than a minute to go. It's the underdogs again forced into having to come from behind. Team A&D, going to just put on that pressure. Now at this point, wasting a lot more of time than trying to get goals. A look again with Bucky. Look to the side, HD Grape will wait there. Demonic with a beat, but bumps off by Bucky. And now the other dogs are long clear. Itachi will be there first, and Team A&D keep themselves on the end of it. The underdogs. 
Ooh, not a great touch, and that touch is gonna go backwards. AO Ashes only to Demonic, who will unnecessarily get that double tap on his own back wall. Will be the Nogs, though, with the ball possession, but they've gotta push up the field, and with time running out, they don't have that many chances. Demonic, Bucky, whiff the beat. The Unidogs. Oh, they whiff on that one. Another whiff from HD Grape. He's the only one with boost, but he can't get the ball out. And Team AND are one step closer to the main event here in round five. Do you get more game wins are needed, but Unidogs, do you have this selection for our next game mode? Go into game number two. It is the Unidogs who are calling it. They want 2v2s. Maybe, I don't think they were watching AD before, but that's actually a pretty smart decision. I don't want to play against AD on that 1v1, on a 1v1 game. Seeing how scary Bucky is in ones, I don't think I think they actually made the right decision here. That 2v2 seems to be the weakest game mode for AD. Uh, at least one of the weaker game modes, although players themselves have not been pretty last series. We win this one, so I guess you can't say it's been that weak this series. They are calling for twos, though. Not too surprising, I think I'd have to say. I assume it's about the same roster. It is. Itachi and Ducky. Now taking on AO Ashes and HD Grape. Or AO Ashes and Demonic. Oh, it is Grape. Okay, Demonic's going to be playing the 1v1 then. That's going to be a scary 1v1 for both these players. But right now, it's not about the 1v1s. It's about the 2v2s. And oh, this is a 2v2 matchup. I think we can all get behind. It's going to be close. It's going to be high intensity. Should be pretty fun to watch. A and D and... Match points, you know, potential for them here if they can take down the underdogs here in this 2v2 game mode. They'll be in a beautiful position to run through round five and get themselves in the main event quickly without too much of a hassle here in this final round. But as that is if they do take it, that doesn't seem to be likely since Andy, since uh, underdogs did choose this game mode. It should, in theory, be the game mode that they're confident in. The free Andy. And that ball upfield will. Definitely be of their utmost concern. You don't want to let this underdogs team have any sort of offense, and to do so, you've got to be able to get a good amount of chances on them as Aowash is now in a Takumi of all cars, which is an interesting choice from them. Rarely, rarely do I ever see someone in a car that isn't, you No, know, one of the usual ones. Takumi is a rare one on this stream. And I love it. It's a beautiful car, but not one that people play on often. Underdogs. Challenge win. And now another one. HD Grape. Can he get the final touch? No, he can't. AO Ashes jumping. Going. But oh, huge whiff there. And another one from the underdogs. And that's going to get rid of all the offense they had. It's a great opportunity, but I don't know if they recognized it. Definitely weren't ready for it. Shot never came. And AND, at least at this point, playing the defensive. But another whiff from AO Ashes. And it's Ducky. And it's one for AND. Oh, and it felt so simple. Maybe even too routine. AO Ashes with a huge whiff, and Ducky will make him pay. One goal up for AND in a 2v2 game mode. All they have to do now is hold on to it. As Itachi. I'm gonna add more, but we'll meet HD Grape on the back wall. Now AO Ashes. This one going for goal, and nearly had that angle too, but Ducky will. The ones are. Have the quick reactions to get there in time. Underdogs. Well, again, have to play the defensive. Oh, I thought Aero Ashes missed that. Uh, almost missed that one as well. Aero Ashes having some mechanical issues, but... Overall, though, they're just overcommitted, and... Team AND are making this look quick and simple. As, yeah, both players and the underdogs went for the same boost, and... Oh, for Ducky, I think you could probably hear Itachi yelling at him. Don't go for it. Don't go for it. It's open. Uh, he listened to his teammate, that's for sure, and it's a good thing he did. Because now AND have a two goal lead. They may want to add more to this reminder. This is the game of the underdogs are a lot more confident in. And the fact of the matter is, they just don't seem like they have the answers. As Ducky now, challenged by HD Grape. Underdogs. Ooh, what an awkward touch, and that's going to go in the complete wrong direction. Anyway, just got to get back, because here comes a shot, and they can't get there. Itachi with a third goal, and Team A&D are just living lavishly. And it's a beautiful shot, too, up high, and powerfully shot. 
Team A and D in a perfect position. For the underdogs, at least for them. They're running this tournament. Could be coming to a close unless they have something to say about it. As for the underdogs, trying to look again with a flick down field, but there is Ducky and... Well, they still haven't scored here for the underdogs, and that is, again, a terrible sign for a team. Again, it considers this their much more better game mode. At least the one that they are willing to take earlier on. Not be able to score, that's got to be a huge detriment for them. Not just because, obviously, they don't win this game, but also because, again, reminder, they're not confident in the 1v1s in that sense. They may have Demonic, but Andy and Bucky, and we saw how good Bucky is at 1s in the last game. Demonic, overall, very solo play oriented. He's got the mechanics, but I do wonder if he has that 1v1 sense that Bucky utilizes so well. Whatever it is, Andy in a beautiful position. They do take this game, and they force underdogs into a match point, which ironically happened in the, in the very last series against Goldie Giggles for underdogs. Goldie Giggles took those first two games, including the one that, where the underdogs chose their own game mode, and it was twos. Then they made that reverse sweep. They might have to be in that same position all over again here, how A and D is playing against them. As HD Grape trying to slow them down, AO Ashes, and put it on target, and A and D back at it again. There's Itachi. Letting AO Ash's challenge. It's just a waste of time here for the underdogs. And Atachi with a beautiful outplay. Now a fake Atachi going for goal. And that's going to go off the post, off the crossbar. And back out for Ducky. The fake on AO Ash's. Ducky, fake Musty. The flick. HD Grape is ready for it. But on low boost as well. And D. Again with a challenge. AO Ash's though. Has this one beat. And D again will just sit on the back line. At this point, they don't really need to create offense. They're just trying to get one more goal, really settle this game. Maybe a great time to do it, but Ducky's touch only to Hitachi and not very well out to him. He's just got to waste time here. Hope that the underdogs don't challenge him early. And they won't here. Here's a good chance to shoot, but he goes high. And HD Grape now. 2v1 the other way. But his first touch just is so heavy here. And A and D will just stay up with it. Hitachi. Clears it away, HD Ape is bumped, and that will end game two. Team A and D are now one win away from going to the main event and escaping round five. They're also only one game win away from taking out the underdogs here from this main event playoff contention. Game three, we're back to the 3v3 action. Back to the, now having the pressure on the underdogs, they did not look like the better team. In that last 3-3 game, although it was close. It is a worrisome place for this team. The nice thing is, they have already done a reverse sweep in lower round 4. Now they just need to do it here in round 5. Isaiah Wash is, I think, going for a car change here, so... Again, this underdog side can't be feeling confident. These teams at 2-2, two two. it's against 3 wins to move on, 3 losses to go out, so... These teams are literally on the line here when it comes to who's going to go forward. A and D looking like the team that might be more likely to do so. Still, the underdogs. Putting up the, trying to put up the most valiant effort they can. They have had a difficult, difficult run. I mean, going against the Goldie Giggles was already quite tough for them in the first place. And they go up against the A and D side that knows... Uh, even more than the goalie giggles do. So often we see teams in that upper round four when they lose, uh, struggle to get things going in round five. That has not been the case for A and D. This team has been up and running as soon as game one started. Now they're only, again, one game away from securing their spot in the top eight. But they'll have to do it here. It's Bucky. Off to it, looking for a good start. He'll get that flick ahead. Demonic off the corner, and Team A&D will be waiting in the midfield. HD Grape. Tachi. I get that dunk, but instead just going to fall in front for him, and he has nothing to work with. He's floundering on that back wall, but somehow A&D have got it, and Bucky will score. What on earth was that from A&D? It was an absolute mess, and somehow with all three players in that final third, they somehow score anyways. It's about as... Strange of a goal as it will get here. But A&D will take it and 
Oh, that means a one goal closer now to getting their spot in that main event. Every goal, every play has that importance for Team A and D. Again, a great position to get themselves, again, just in a perfect place to get goals, to get chances. They've got to keep making them themselves as Demonic. The ceiling, challenged early, and you see ND, they're going to do that consistently. Whenever Demonic's up, they're going to jump early against him. And let this guy shoot. They can't like HG Grape shoot either, because he's got the space. And it is the underdogs who have come back and taken his Itachi. He went for boost there, and he took the boost over the ball. And so often you tell players not to do that. And for a very specific reason, it's because you give that space away. And the underdogs will take it. H3 Great will score with what he has. He may indeed looking to go back into offense, but his 50-50s have been anything but easy for them. There's Itachi. Bucky. Just getting around AO Ashes here. Is, is just trying to dice people up. Now Bucky. He's found Ducky. Monik will be there, but Itachi. The underdogs are a double commit, but Monik in free space and... He's actually gonna get a good chance on this, and Ducky didn't challenge him, and that's the problem for A and D. I mentioned how good they were challenging early, but our Ducky is completely not taking that advice from his own teammates, and instead he's giving up the space to Demonic, and that's what Demonic does when he has room. And the underdogs may be doing it again, maybe making another reverse sweep for themselves. It's Team A and D a little bit too passively on the back line and he's going to catch them out here as demonic another free touch this time Ducky will just take his boost and he's trying to force demonic into an awkward play he does there now the pinch H3 great will get the save but being so close everybody from the underdogs had jumped for it oh boost on hand and another double commit here as AO Ashes and demonic both jumping and these double commits are going to become problematic for the underdogs Bucky HD grape enough boost to get that challenge and then some now Bucky again, Itachi going across the goal, he couldn't put it on. Demonic will have free room. HD Grape, the doink, but I don't think Demonic wanted that. Giveaway straight to A and D, and Team A and D will go up to offense again. Bucky, off the side wall, HD Grape, waiting for it is Bucky. Now he goes again, AO Ashes, the beat, HD Grape going to the back wall. And the underdogs, that was actually too powerful of a touch there from uh, HD Grape, but even so, you're seeing that turnaround here in Game 3. The same turnaround they had against the Goldie Giggles. Again, that team they reverse swept. Team A&D. Offense is not an easy thing to come by. It was not easy in Game 1, that's for sure. It hasn't been any easier here. Now they're down a goal. They've got to get offense quickly. Bucky to the back wall. Couldn't get the second touch, but Ducky will keep this going. And Bucky in the midfield. But, H but Itachi, not too willing to challenge. And HD Grape will see that play meet its end. That net wide right open. And HD Grape will miss it on an open shot. Underdogs. Nearly. That would have been that could have been the goal to seal this game for them. And yet they've missed their opportunities. Team A&D better take full advantage of it. Ducky, it's a net! HD Grape will get there in time. And the underdogs keep this one going. Bucky now. No more boost to work with HD Grape to clear. Itachi keeps it up. A minute remaining. And A&D panicking to go over offense. They know that the underdogs can come back. You know how close that game one was. Well, that 1v1 game mode may be the one that... Underdogs are at least confident in. Demonic's still a solid 1v1 player. And for Team A&D, now 30 seconds left. Still need that chance with a flick from Bucky. We'll send this one down the line. Demonic is waiting, but Ducky to the back wall. Awkward bounce. This one rolling in front. Atachi couldn't get the beat on Demonic. Team A&D will try again with Ducky. Itachi, back to Bucky. Ducky there too, but Bucky calls to the back wall. Demonic doesn't have it! And Bucky comes in clutch. The ice for a &D. Six seconds remain, and game three continues.
Bucky to the back wall, sees the whiff, and takes over from there. Team Andy. Now only one goal away from taking it. Itachi, flip reset, fake, going for goal. It will be pinched down by AO Ashes. And the underdogs will see this one go to OT. Must win for them if they want to stay alive in this tournament. Team AND. The main event is only one goal away. Demonic. Oh, what a second touch. AO Ashes couldn't put a good shot on. And now, a beat from Ducky. Itachi won't have him, but Ducky up. Oh, Itachi could be looking for the bumps there, but Bucky to the back wall. Demonic will be there with just enough boost. Now he'll look for the clear with HD Grape. Itachi sideways that blade couldn't challenge. A and D won't mind another clear. This time Itachi is jumping early, but Monik's ready for that too. Bucky's already up, but he's going the wrong direction. Can only stop this fight for a little bit, but AOS is whiffed. Ducky, with room. Demonic, already up, but he's actually already given up on that play. Said he being himself close to the ground to wait on the A and D uh, outcome. And, you know, for A&D at least, they would have wished they had a little bit more there. Hey, Wash is now out of the position. She'll be at that corner. As, Bu as Itachi, Bucky already up for this as well. And he's going to go for that waterfall. HD Grape will be there. A.O. is also committed. And again, those double commits could be the undoing of the underdogs here. Not only does it leave them out of position, but it also uses so much of their boost and resources that they're just in such a rough place to begin with. Only gonna make things worse here. Because that double commit can end on me. Demonic. Backwards. This one. A chance. Itachi takes the goal and sends Team AD to the top eight. The underdogs. Demonic pushed up high but couldn't get the challenge. And that was all they wrote for this series. Team AD sweep the underdogs and will knock them out of the tournament. Well, for them themselves, Team AD are going to the main events next weekend. Three games straight, they take down the underdogs. It was a close series, admittedly, but they had that control, and it felt like for a lot of that series, it was Demonic trying to put the underdogs on his back, but no team can really be defined easily by one player. And D will win it. They're moving on through. The other two matches still ongoing. On the other side, what about me then playing, still playing the Golden Light Gamers? Seth Palm stream, it's Goal versus Sunset Academy. Goal Sunset is actually tied at 1-1, and the Golden Light Gamers, what about me then, is they also tied at 1-1. Match that is, but both situations, the favorites are the ones who are looking to fight here. Sunset Academy actually came from upper round free and have not been able to win since. What about me then? They've also came from uh, upper round free and have not been able to win since. So these teams... Trying to keep themselves going here, so the favorites are in a very good position, but Team A and D, a good win for them. They'll be happy with that series. It was not a fun day for the fun tournament for them in that they had a very tough time, but being a team with not a very high, uh, high um, seed, not, they won't be too unhappy with that. Again, it's Team A and D. One of the, not one of the higher seasons tournaments, so for them to make it in round five, I'm sure they'll be pretty happy. At least that they made it. Again, what a time it is for these players. I'm sure they'll be celebrating now on that win. They won't have to worry any longer about... Uh, Qualifying for that main event. They have done just that. If you take a look at our bracket again, that's the only match that's ended. But Team AD will end their run with a, with a 3 0 sweep, getting past round 5. It means, unfortunately, for underdogs who have had, again, such a tough run and that they never barely being able to get that chance. One time they do, they just can't make it work. Underdogs, at least for them, rough run, but I'm sure that they won't mind. Too much in that, they did make it to round 5, they 
They'll just have to, unfortunately, watch from the sidelines as the other teams get to play themselves. But to later tonight, we've got way more action later tonight. Yeah, this was pretty nice. We've got the end of the Champions Cup tonight. Champions Cup 1, or ETS RSS Champions Cup 1. Tonight, quarters, semis, and finals all on this stream. So, you'll be getting to see that as well. Again, that's the end for this one, though. If you take a look again at the little schedule here, you got 3 1 with Team People brought over Andy. And then Andy's obviously sweeping the underdogs most recently. That's it for our stream, at least. So, sorry again, going to get a raid out here. But we'll be back later tonight, 7 p.m. Eastern, to start of the quarterfinals. That is in less than four hours from now. It's in about three and a half hours from now. So, we'll be live at that point for our end of our tournament. I'm excited for, but for us, we are going to raid out here. Thank you so much for joining this funny stream. We'll be live again later tonight with the ATS RLSS Champions Cup 1 A2, the final day, the top eight playing, but also join the uh, Paradise Esports Crew Battle Tournament qualifiers. I'm Spotty FC. We'll see you soon.